Hey Internet, Dave Morris here for this edition of News OK TV. It's Thursday, June 7th, 2012, and how many people need some extra sleep today or could have used some extra sleep, perhaps using some coffee this morning after the Thunder's late night win or perhaps OU in the WCWS last night or perhaps you just went to the Dead Center Film Festival and stayed late. Let's recap it. This episode takes a look at some of the stories, headlines, and videos you can find on NewsOK.com and also looks ahead to some of the things happening around the Oklahoma City area. Well, the Thunder is advancing to the NBA Finals for the first time in the franchise's Oklahoma City era. This after a 107-99 win over the San Antonio Spurs in Game 6 of the Western Conference Finals on Wednesday night. Oklahoma City became just the 15th team in NBA history to come back to win a best-of-seven series after trailing two games to none, and just the eighth team to come back and win the series after notching four straight victories. The Thunder now awaits the winner between Boston and Miami. With home court advantage over both, the Thunder will host games one, two, and if necessary, six and seven, and game one is Tuesday. Well, Thunder fans were quick to buy gear proclaiming the team as Western Conference champs. Stores like Academy Sports and Outdoors opened late after the Oklahoma City win. Fans lined the sidewalks late Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. Alabama captured the NCAA softball national crown in the Women's College World Series. Alabama beat OU 5-4 in a weather delay game Wednesday night at Hall of Fame Stadium. OU actually led 3-0 before the rain delay, but once play resumed, Alabama took over for its first national title. OU football coach Bob Stoops has taken away scholarships from Jazz Reynolds, Trey Franks, and Quentin Hayes. Also, wide receiver Camille Jackson has a summer scholarship but will have to earn another for the fall. Rain chances in Oklahoma will decrease and temperatures will increase headed towards the weekend. Low rain chances will return by early next week as a weak front approaches the area. Expect highs in the 90s. Hundreds of movie fans and filmmakers attended Wednesday night's Dead Center Film Festival opening despite the rain. The festival runs through Sunday at various locations in Oklahoma City. There you have it, a look at some of the stories, headlines, and videos you can find today on NewsOK.com. Have a great day, everyone.